My name is Maya and today I'm actually going to be talking about my college portfolio because I just think it would be maybe helpful to people if I talked about it and told you guys my work and how I got into the schools that I applied to. And I only applied to five schools. Um, four of those were art institutes and one of those was a state school. And the reason why I only applied to five is because I was already like really certain of where I wanted to be and so it didn't make sense to apply to all these schools and spend all this money to do that if I like already knew where I wanted to go. So the five schools I applied to were Columbia College Chicago, Columbus College of Art and Design in Ohio, um, School of Art Institute of Chicago, SCAD, and then Indiana U of Bloomington. And I am going to Columbus College of Art and Design in the fall and I'm really excited. And the reason why I didn't apply to schools like RISD and Parsons is because they're just too far away from where I live and um, they're also really expensive and I can't really afford to go to schools like that as much as I had wanted to. But yeah, so today I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I sent to those schools to get in and I got into all of them with art scholarships for my work. So I hope you guys enjoy, I'm gonna jump in. So my art teacher told me that when you're submitting a portfolio, you always wanna do the worst first and the best last. So like the first half of my portfolio is mostly work that just sort of demonstrates that I'm capable of understanding figure and form and line and movement. And then the other pieces that are later on are more about conceptual ideas and understanding how those components go together. And I also wanna note that I turned this in in like November because I wanted to apply as early as possible in order to get the most money and like scholarships. So I'm gonna make a video later about my actual AP portfolio because like half of the work in that wasn't included in this because it wasn't finished yet. So you, if you stick around, you'll probably see that my style has changed a lot since I submitted this, but yeah. Okay, so the first piece that I included was this one. Um, it's actually a piece that I submitted for a local competition that my school participated in. It's called 100 Neediest Cases and basically you make a piece about people struggling in the community and if you win you get included in the newspaper. So I did this piece about cancer patients and I thought it was a good demonstration of my ability to show form with pencil and um, yeah that's why I included this one. Okay. So the next piece that I included was this pen drawing of a French building. This was just sort of like an architecture class project we did. Um, I think it was during my junior year and I just thought it was a good demonstration of my ability to work with him and um, understanding more solidified forms. I might include a better image if you guys can see it better but yeah. Okay so the next piece was another piece that I submitted for that same competition that was included in the first one. It was a charcoal drawing that I did. Um, it was like a really quick drawing, but I thought it was a good representation of my ability to work with gestural movements and forms because as you'll see later, a lot of my work is more solidified and like solid figures. And so that was just kind of to show that I'm capable of doing a more abstract portrait, which I'll include an image of that here because I actually don't have it right now. was just a charcoal study of a rib cage and like I really wanted to focus on doing simplistic line to create form um, again just because most of my work is so solidified and finished I wanted to show that I'm capable of leaving things kind of unfinished and like leaving the eye to fill in the gaps so that's basically what this was and just showing that I know how to draw in human form basically <laughs> So this is when the piece, my pieces start to shift more towards like concepts. Um, and this one was a really quick one I did too, just with charcoal. I, I really got into charcoal in the middle of my senior year. Um, and it's like ripped because I stored it really poorly, but it's fine. Um, there's like a tree outside my bedroom window and there's like an owl. That, I think it's the same owl that comes back every single year. So I did a piece of what I think it looks like because I've never actually seen it but it's literally been there since I was a little kid. So this was just sort of a piece of like what I think he looks like and I was trying to capture his personality. I really don't know anything about this owl but I just thought it was a fun idea. So yeah. 
and this one is gold ink, charcoal, and pen. Okay, so all the rest of the pieces in my portfolio except for one are from a concentration. And this first one is called Gluttony. This one is, I'm not really crazy about it, but I thought it was a, a good idea to show that I, I know how to do abstracted portraits because my entire portfolio is portraits and all of them are super finished and like filled in. So I thought it would be a good exercise for me to do a more abstracted concept of this one and the concept is really simple I just kind of did three mouths to show like overconsumption because that's what gluttony is and I'm really not crazy about this especially because I left everything in the center of the canvas which I know that's not good to do now that I've worked harder but yeah I did include this one okay so this next piece I actually really loved it's of my one of my closest friends um, and it's called diligence and I got really into focusing on color psychology when I was doing my portfolio, so you might notice that a lot of the pieces focus on one central color until um, some of my later work kind of steps away from that and focuses on the relationship between colors rather than just one specific color. But I do really like this piece. Um, I think it turned out really well, and I like that I sort of included some geometric forms in this. And basically, it's, she's just a really hardworking person. Um, and bees are typically symbolism of hard work and community and teamwork. So I included them in this. And then the background are really simplified oak leaves, which is another symbol of hard work and all of that. Um, I used a lot of biblical symbolism in these pieces. So this next piece is called Envy. This was like the second piece I made for my concentration. So the idea is pretty, again, pretty simple. I mean, it's just like green with envy. And then I included a snake because that's like really typical biblical symbolism for like envy and greed and the garden of Eden, whatever. <laughs> um, and um, this, I cannot, oh, I cannot express to you more how long this piece actually took me because as you can see, like, I literally individually painted every single scale on this thing. Um, and then literally somebody defaced it. So I'm kind of upset about that. I'll include a picture of what it looked like before. <laughs> That's really annoying. But I do really like this piece. Um, I don't think I would ever do something like this again. This, this one is actually acrylic. It was so difficult to do this transition with acrylic paint. And I rarely use acrylic anymore. I basically just use oils. But I am so really proud of this, especially for the amount of time it took. The next one is, um, again, like a super time consuming piece that I did. And I don't know why I torture myself, but um, I do really love it. It's called Overgrown. And the entire thing is micron pin with gold leaf. Um, I'll include an image of it because it's kind of big. <laughs> And the concept for this was fairly simple. I was just trying to communicate um, basically the power of nature to overpower basically anything. And I also really like old things and antiques and things like that. So I was trying to, with using the gold leaf on um, the parts that I was trying to show as rust, I thought that I, I felt that it was communicating that even this old thing that's sitting in the middle of like nowhere it's still beautiful and it still has value. Um, and I really, really like this piece a lot. Okay, so this next one is an oil painting piece. This was like the first, this was the first concentration piece I did that was fully done in oil paint because it was like the first time that I um, actually got to use them. And it's of another friend of mine who I think is like the sweetest, most gorgeous person ever. And it's called Humility. And again, including biblical symbolism of the type of flowers. This one was done around the same time as Gluttony, which is why it kind of has this similar gestural movements happening, which I stepped away from pretty quickly after this. Considering it was my first real oil painting, I think it's like decent. But yeah, again, um, lots of focus on color psychology in this one as well. Okay, so the next piece that I included is called Fighting Fish. I tried to find it, but I can't because my studio is an absolute disaster right now. It's a colored pencil drawing of two fish. 
in like a circular motion. I was trying to represent not only the damage that climate change can have on the fish, because I was trying to show that like they were sort of disintegrating. I'll try to find an image of it so you guys can see what it looks like. I was mainly trying to focus on the competition that it creates in the animal kingdom, lack of resources, lack of suitable habitat, that kind of thing, like what that does to the competition between wildlife. I did use beta fish as the subject, which I guess in retrospect doesn't really make a lot of sense because you're supposed to be like sea life and beta fish are normally like pets, but I still think I really like this piece. I think it would turn out great. Okay, so the next piece, this was actually the first piece I did for my concentration, but I have to say it's probably still one of the best ones because when I made it, the idea behind that was so fresh in my mind that I think that this piece came together really well. Um, it's an acrylic painting called Wrath, and I just think I did a really good job with showing the manipulation of light on the portrait's face. Like, I am genuinely really proud of this piece still, even though it's like two years old. I did this piece my junior year. I kind of got a head start on my concentration. But I think the thing that makes this the most visually interesting and why I included it is because I deliberately sewed in um, string in the motions of a spider web to create like a 3D kind of image. And I think it was just like a really smart use of medium, which I frankly did not do again. Like, I, I didn't really experiment that much again. Okay, so this one was the last one that I submitted. Um, I'm definitely going to include an image of this one because I'm really proud of it. This is kind of where I think I found my voice and it's best got influence. You can see like the crown, um, words, the newspaper. This one's called Charity. I included newspaper clippings about Trump. Um, and the economic issues happening right now, because I'm not a fan. <laughs> so it's, it's like a social, it's a social commentary on the negative impacts that the present has had on the, our world. So this piece is really important to me. I think this is kind of the piece that propelled me into the stuff that came after, which is a lot more personal to me and actually have some, some like real meaning so this piece is really, really important to me. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. So yeah, again, I did use some color psychology with this with the peach tones, which symbolize charitable tongue in the Bible. Yeah, here's this one. <laughs> okay, so before I close out this video, I just want to say that when you're working on a college portfolio, I think it's important that you show that you're capable of a variety of different things. Um, I know that a lot of my pieces are consistent with like a theme or whatever, but I did still try to include a lot of different subjects like buildings, cars, plants, hands, like all those different things, animals, people, because I want to show that I am capable of doing not just one thing. You want to make sure that you're doing that. And then I also think it's important to use a variety of mediums. I mainly focused on charcoal, pen, and paint. But I did also try to include some more unique combinations of those things, especially with the last piece I used with like, so many different mediums being used at once. I think it's important that it's your voice and that what you're doing is important to you. So on that note, I'm done with this video, but in about two weeks, once I get my AP scores back, I'm probably be making a video about my portfolio, which I'll go into more detail about. Um, the concepts that I used in that, the symbolism and everything, and I'll show you guys the pieces that I didn't get to show in this one. So if you have any questions about the portfolio process, you can let me know and I'll be happy to answer them because um, it was kind of stressful. If you like the video, you can like it. See you guys later.